Hi guys, long time no see. Uh, sorry for this weird angle. Today I just wanted to do uh, a closet tour. I'm dressed up for ILD, so I thought I would film a video, so I've already got a cord on. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit chaotic just because I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to remember all of the dresses or blouses or shirts names or whatever. So, um, if I can't remember something, I will just put the name somewhere in the video. Basically, I'm just going to go through the way my closet's organized, which is shirts, like blouses and, um, uh, boleros and like cardigans and all that, and then dresses after. So we'll do the beginning stuff first. <laughs> Okay, first up, we have this Sugar Dream Dome Bolero. It comes with this detachable collar. I love this Bolero. It goes with lots of my uh, stuff. I've, I mean, <laughs> I was planning on cording it with this. So, yeah. So, this is the Marshmallow Bunnies Parka. It's got this little hood on the back. And it's really cute. You can see, hopefully you can see a little bit. But this artwork is so cute. I love this print and I'm always looking for anything marshmallow bunny because <laughs> I just love it so much. Next we have this blouse. I think I don't I don't remember what this one's called. I'm gonna have to look this one up. I think it's like triple heart or something, something heart lace maybe or something frail like a lot of blouses are, but just this cute uh, lavender blouse and I really this blouse for some reason always shows up so so light on camera so I always have to like edit my pictures to make it a little bit more purple because it is like very purple it's just like I don't know why it doesn't pick it up but it's this nice like warmish purple I use this one a lot also let me know what you guys think of these type of videos I was thinking about doing one of my accessories and like socks and stuff and shoes um it would obviously be shorter because I have less stuff but if you guys like this just like showcase sort of video then maybe I'll do that <laughs> again Okay, this wasn't specifically bought for Lolita, but yeah, it's from, uh, I always think it's Bon Bon 21, but it's Bo Bon 21, I guess. It's just this, like, really cute little fluffy, like, pink shirt, and I was thinking maybe I could get away with quartering marshmallow bunnies with this, just because it's got this little cute collar bit, but yeah, the detail on, on this is really cute, and I just bought this. Okay, this is, oh okay, yeah, I just realized I haven't said, like, any of the brands, but all of the stuff that I've shown so far is AP, um, so... <laughs> I'll just, I'll say when something's not AP because most of my stuff is, but this is a little bunny parka. I actually had to fix this up myself. It had a few stains and, um, these were like completely yellowed and disgusting. So I just had to cut them off and, uh, I had to re-sew new, like little poofy things on. So I did that and it's got like these super cute uh ears I, this is like my favorite part of this the detailing and there's like little polka dots too so they're like peeking out behind but like there's like little polka dots and it's also got these cute um little pockets here that i think are cute they hold nothing but they're still very cute okay next we have this ap t-shirt uh this this is really cute i can't remember i think this is from a pack like a lucky sprinkle pack or something um, but it's just got this cute little graphic design on it, and I think it's really cute, and yeah. <laughs> I feel like this video is gonna be so boring, it's just me being like, here's the name of this item, isn't it cute? But maybe you guys uh, like that kind of content, because I see lots of people doing it, so yeah. I apologize if the first half of this video is like super bright, I didn't realize my ring light was like max. Another thing I didn't specifically buy for Lolita, but it was on Closet Child, and I thought maybe I could do like a casual cord with this. Um, it's just this really cute H. Uh, I think it's H. Nauto frill or something, but it's got this like cute little lace here, and it's got this little design. Can you see that? <laughs> oh shoot! I forgot I was filming with my front camera again. I'm sorry, guys. I always forget to shoot with the back because. Um, I get like insecure and I can't really see like if I'm in the video or not, so I'm sorry if the quality is a little worse. Alright, next we have this this blouse. This blouse is off brand. It's just like, I think this was my, <laughs> this was my first blouse actually, and I got this on eBay and it's fine. It's a little big for me honestly. I think I bought it in a size too big, 
Um, but it's just basic. It's just got the little princess sleeve. I'm sure everyone's seen this blouse. Okay, next up is this AP Bolero. I love this Bolero. I use it all the time. It's so soft and it's, I think it's just like princess ribbon or something. Um, probably like ribbon frill. <laughs> I don't know. So, something like that again. But it's really nice. It's just like, it's so good for casual cords. I just throw it on. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I love this one. Yeah, I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long. Sometimes I just don't feel like making videos because I'm just like, like, why am I making them, I guess? Like, I don't really want to be famous or like get super popular or anything. And I don't really have the desire to make like beginner videos, I guess. And I feel like that is a lot of like the views that Lolita YouTubers get is from just making content to help new people, but I just don't really have the energy to do that. <laughs> There's so many guides and videos already out there that there doesn't need to be anymore really. So sometimes I get discouraged and I like, like I have ideas for videos, but I'm like, what's the point? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I hope that doesn't sound like mean. It's just like, I guess I just don't have the desire to like just create and create and create. Like today I just woke up and I was like, maybe I'll make a YouTube video today because I feel like it. And I think that's probably where my channel like is heading towards just whenever I get the will or like random urge to do it, I'm just gonna do it like that. So I can't really make promises anymore. So I, I do apologize for that, but all right, let's move on. All right, next we have a non AP bus. <laughs> shocking, I know, but uh this is just this um brown blouse i bought it's gonna be for future cords like with dresses that i get chocolate themed or like mint ones because i really like mint and like chocolate cords or whatever so <laughs> i'm leaning towards getting more stuff for that but i bought this like a really long time ago and i haven't used it for a whole lot since but i'm just hoping to keep it until i get more chocolate pieces but it is a nice blouse it's from I don't remember the brand. I think it's like H N H N or something or H M H M. I'm not sure. It's really nice though, and the sleeves have like these nice details. I wear this collar. This is just a spare fur collar I have, but uh, I'm just gonna take that off for now. I just keep that there when I'm storing things. And this blouse isn't attached, but this is just another uh, black bolero. It's just it's really cute. It's has this nice like uh, silky bow kind of thing, and then. The lacing is like some nice flower lace. It's really pretty and um, this is just another casual one I go for a lot, so yeah. And I don't remember the name of this one either. I'm sorry guys. I remember having them and I'm probably just gonna have to put the labels, so. Okay, another black bolero. I actually was given two like the same year, which was really funny because I have so many more options, but this is like triple ribbon bolero or something. I think that's what it's called. It's got these three bows and they just attach across. Uh, the lacing is, what, let's see, oh, it's polka dots. So the AP polka dot lace. You can see that. Oh, sorry, there's like cat hair all over it because my cats get in my room. But yeah, they have the nice polka dots. Let's move on. Okay, this is new. I just bought this out of swap meet with my com. Uh, this is, shoot, I think it's a Dear Celine blouse or something. Um, it's really, really soft. It's got these cool see-through sleeves um, with the little like scrunching here and the lace is really nice. I'll hold that up a little. And the collar is super soft. It, it's not irritating at all, which I really like because I don't like blouses that are a little bit uncomfortable. All around just a comfortable blouse. Next we have this blouse. I think it's like pearl ribbon or something. Sorry if I keep forgetting to look in the camera. I'm kind of spacey today, but uh, since I have like, the sleeves in today, I just don't want to mess with it right now, but um, it, it comes with this little like handkerchief looking thingy that attaches up here that has pearls on it. Let me see if I can find it. Ah, here we go. I think it's like a, what, what is it called? A jabbit or something, maybe. Uh, it's got this cute little pearly thing that goes here. The sleeves are obviously inside out, but you can imagine what it looks like with those sleeves. Um, this is a really nice blouse. It's so comfortable. It's like a cut so so it's soft and I'm like just wearing only cut sews in my wardrobe. But the lace on this blouse is so adorable. It's AP, the AP um, like star, starry lace. We're almost done with the blouses and outerwear section. I really need to get more blouses 
Well, I do. I have quite a bit. It's just I need more like different colors. Like I have a lot of black because <laughs> that's where, what I wear a lot of. But this, um, I think this is called like trump card or something. Um, it's got like little suits on it, like the card suits. If you can see that. I can't really see what I'm doing, so I'm like, but yeah. And it's got that like on the cuff sleeves too, which is nice. And, and this lacing is uh, crown lacing. Hopefully you can see it. All right, moving on. Next we have this, I think it's called ColourPop ribbon or something. And it's this adorable little cardigan. I love this cardigan. It's knitted, so it's extremely soft again. And I love polka dots. I love stripes. So like together, it's just so fun. And lots of my dresses have polka dots and stuff. So it's really good for that. And it's got like the little mismatched bows, which is so cute. Like I, I just love that. I love the little mismatched bows. Once again, sorry for the cat hair. <laughs> All right, we have three left. So this one's a quick one. It's just an Amazon blouse I bought in the beginning. Actually, I take it back. This might have been my first blouse. Uh, I used this for gothic stuff. It's just got like this little neck ruffle thing. It's not too bad for an Amazon blouse. It's just obviously there's better out there, but this is what I had at the time, so. Another non-Lolita specific piece, but I tried to do some like very casual Lolita with this tank top. Um, this is a milk tank top. Um, it's super cute and it goes with quite a few of my skirts and dresses. Uh, and it's got these little bow details and I just thought that would be cute for Lolita since like, I don't know, it's got like the right ruffles and stuff for it. Lastly, I have a new cardigan, but it's on my mannequin. I'll have to show the stuff that's on my mannequin at the end of the video because there's a, there's a bolero slash cardigan, I'm not really sure, and one of my OPs on it, so just uh, I'll just have to show it like that. So yeah, we are done with the tops and the blouses, so now we are on to the main pieces and skirts. Okay, now we are on to the dresses. Starting first with Sweet Shooting Star by Meta. This is, one, this is one of my dream uh, items. Unfortunately, the only one that I have ever found is this one uh, that hasn't like gotten snatched up obviously, but um, it did come in a little bit faded, which is okay because I just love it so much and it's honestly so cute, it doesn't even matter, but this is the print. I wanted this dress so bad when I first saw it, like, uh, <laughs> I said dress, I meant skirt, but um, it does come in a dress. Uh, I specifically wanted the skirt though for casual wear. I'm getting more into casual wear. I want more skirts and more cut sews so that I can just like throw it on for errands and stuff because all the OPs are easy and stuff. They're not so friendly with <laughs> warm weather and skirts definitely are. So uh, yeah, these are my, these are what I'm looking for right now. But they've got like these, sorry, I have to get so close because I can't tell what I'm doing, but they've got these little bears and bunnies and candies and um, at the bottom there's like a little moon and it's just, I mean, it's meta, so it's obviously lovely quality, but let's do the next one. All right, next is uh, AP's Fancy Hospital. Uh, I have an un unboxing video of this one, you should go watch that because <laughs> this was also a wish list like dream item. It's such a nice dress the colors are just so beautiful like i just i love these colors specifically like all together they're so nice and um i want a little tattoo of like maybe the bunny or something with like an insulin pump so i might do like a diabetic ap tattoo because i think that would be cute uh but yeah this dress has so many good details i can talk about them really quickly but i don't want to go too long into every dress so um, just mainly the heart buttons. I think those are such a cute detail. Um, and my favorite is the waist ties that have the little plus signs. That's so, like, <laughs> so perfect, I guess. But yeah, okay, moving on. Oh boy, okay. This one I am not so sure I can remember the name. I think it's like, <laughs> okay, don't, don't quote me on this. It's like Twin Star. Fantasia horoscope constellation, something like that. But it's really nice. It's actually a Halloween print. You can't really tell, but um, I got this for Christmas this year. Uh, and it's got like so many nice details. It's got this little 
clip thingy here that's really cute and um, the bottom has this lovely like gold tool and um, the print is so lovely. I'll try to show it. Hold on. You can see like a little, uh, hold on. This is hard. <laughs> you can see like a little Halloween, uh, like cart and, um, there's just like a star car. There's a little kitties walking around. There's little witch hats. Uh, these guys are wearing little cloaks, which is so cute. I love that so much. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cute print. I don't even want to show the next one, but here we go. It's the Amazon dress. I've made videos about this before. I've talked about it in my, uh, things that I regret buying. I've talked about it in my dress <laughs> ranking video. All those videos you should go watch because I just absolutely trashed this dress. Um, once again, I still have it for... I'm waiting for whenever my calm decides to do a really messy me or something. Um, and I can like somewhat dress it up a little bit old, old school, but it's very rare that I will actually ever pick this from my closet. Out of every nice dress option I have, this is not the one that I lean towards. Because it's got that itchy lace, costume lace. Um, it's got this sad bow, like... This, these little things have ripped like more times than I can count and it's just, yeah, it's sad. It's going back in the closet. Next is Meta's room print skirt. I love this skirt. Of course, I love Meta skirts. They're so good. Um, this one's got such a cute shape. It's a little bit longer and it's got this, this is my favorite part of this, this little heart buckle. It's so cute. It, it gives me like vintage vibes for some reason. Um, but it's got pockets, which are nice. It's got little poodle on it, or like, I think there's a poodle and there's a cat, so there's both. And there's like this cute little pink room, and actually I have to show you guys something that I got, so wait one second. Oh, I can twin with my pillow. Yeah, I got the matching pillow, <laughs> I could not resist it, I saw it for sale, and it's going on my, um, filming chair which I haven't shown you guys yet but I have like a new chair now so I can uh sit on something and actually be comfortable for a video but yeah we got the matching pillow and chair so the pillow is basically the same thing as the skirt obviously but um yeah I love this skirt and this skirt is so so good for casual wear next we have my Anna house skirt um this skirt's so cute I need to wear this more I have a cord planned soon for this um, that's also casual, but it comes with this detachable apron, which is really nice. Uh, the pink is just such a cute, like, pastel color, and it's just nice, it's simple, and yeah, that's what I like for casual wear. <laughs> Alright, next up we have the eBay saddle pet. I've talked about this in videos too. Um, it's okay, it's nothing special, it's just some cheap design that they've had for sale. Uh, I don't wear this one that much anymore again um i've worn it a few times like casual but the colors are also very hard to cord they're like orangey golds and like hot pink so it's a little bit hard to find accessories sometimes i just keep it because i like salad pets once once i get like a few ap salad pets or something i'll probably get rid of it all right next we have ap's magic princess a classic i haven't worn this in a while i really need to um this dress is so pretty, it, it never stops being so cute. It's got so many nice details. We've got like the little chain here that's like so pretty. The bow's got these little buttons embedded and just all around a good print. It's got tassels on it if you haven't seen this. Uh, there's like a wand and I mean, back's the same, but. Uh, the, the sleeves are like semi see-through, which is nice, and um, in my opinion, just like these, this part is very cute and very flattering, so yeah. Okay, next we have Dreamy Girl. Ignore this. This is another storage for a uh, fur collar that I have extras of. Um, this is, I'm missing the little pearl necklace for this, unfortunately, but it's, uh, this was one of my wishlist items. Unfortunately, it didn't really meet my expectations. I didn't know that the cut was gonna be so weird, but 
Um, this part's just very high busted, so it feels like it's like straight up cut off. <laughs> like cut it, cutting off your chest, if that makes sense. And um, unfortunately, I just didn't, I didn't know that it was going to be like that. I still love the print, so I might just like end up getting the JSK at some point. But yeah, I love bathroom or like makeup or product prints. I'm like dying at the new release of that AP dress with the um, detergent all over and the detergent bunny bag. I, I just want that so bad. It's so cute. But yeah, this is Dreamy Girl and it's a, good, it's a cute print and I especially like this print because it reminds me of Barbie. All right, next we have Cradlin Ripped and it's like Transylvania Moonlight. It's a really, really pretty gothic dress. This was one of my wishlist items for my gothic dresses. I love it so much. It's got such a flattering, cute little like vampire-y gothic looking um, like cutouts here and the lacing's so pretty and it's got this uh, like little, I don't know what to call this, <laughs> overskirt or something. Um, but the print is really cool. There's just a bunch of gothic like dead church. There's like a church. There's like a corpse that's like dead. There's some coffins, some, I don't know, statues, stairs, but like, it's just an all around cool dress and the lace is so stunning on this dress. Let me hold it up. It's just like some very nice detailing, so yeah. Okay, next we have this Christmas dress. I don't know the name of this. Um, I'm not taking this off because this is like an over, it like goes over the waist thing like the last one. Um, I'm honestly keeping this again until I get an AP Christmas dress so that I can just swap it out. But, um, it's not bad. It's, it's got, like, nice bows and stuff. Um, and the print's just, like, a girl and, like, a teddy bear and, like, a deer. So, yeah. It's not bad. It's a, it's a cute dress. But again, I would I would like an AP dress that I could also maybe wear just for winter because a Christmas dress is just so specific. Okay, next is the Barbie Meta dress. Obviously one of my favorites. I wear it a lot. Um, and it's got such cute little printing. This part's actually velvet. Uh, if you look close, it's soft. And then these are actually glitter, which is something I feel like you can't tell a lot in pictures, but you can see a shimmer and... Um, the bottom part's just one of my favorites. I love the stripy gold details, and uh, it's got this beautiful back bow, which I absolutely adore. It's just so extravagant. I love it. And and then, of course, the front bow is just, like, the best. It's so cute, and it's got the bow buttons, and it's got the little Barbie label, which is cool. But, yeah. Next is Marshmallow Bunnies. I never... I wanted to do an unboxing video, but... I don't know if I had talked about it before, but when I do unboxings, a lot of the time I can't remember the details of the dresses after I open them, like I'm watching the footage and I just have no memory of that and I don't want to lose out on my first memory of like opening my dream dress, so I just opened it on my own because like it's really, it's really important to me that I like remember and retain this because when I'm filming a lot, I don't retain like any of it. So it's really weird for me to like have a dream item arrive and then I can't even remember like some specific print details. That probably sounds insane, but hopefully someone understands. But yeah, so this is Marshmallow Bunnies, my ultimate, ultimate dream dress next to like, next to like Sugar Dream Dome or something, but, or like Melty Chocolate, like the ultimate tier for me. But yeah, it's really, it's like more beautiful than I ever could have imagined and the artwork's just so pretty. I love it. And it's got like different color bunnies. This is like a yellow one and the fur collar is just so like nice and cute. And then it's also got the waistcoat ties with little poofs. Like it's so cute. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite of all time. Next we have, I think it's Meta Sweet Parade maybe? Um, this one's a very nice print. I bought this on a whim and I am glad that I did because it is one of the nicer dresses I have and um, it's really comfortable. It's flattering on me. It's got these cute little bows here and this, this apron is detachable and it's got this little heart pocket and the print is just like <laughs> ice cream galore. Like it's just, 
very, I don't know, I'm not holding this up very well, hold on. There you go, you can see like the cones and um, there's just like ice cream all over it. So yeah, that's a good one. Next we have a Taobao dress again. I don't know the name of it. Um, the brand is just Lolita Taylor, so uh, make of that what you will. This was one of my first dresses. Um, it's a nice dress. It's not like anything special again. It's just Taobao dress, whatever. It's got this cute little overlay thing. It's kind of mermaidy, And there's like this cute little anime mermaid on it. I'll just try to show her, but. She is very pretty and the artwork's really nice. Um, but I don't know who's doing a good job, but it's it's pretty cute and it's just got just got some oceany stuff on it. So yeah. This is a good dress, I think. They're almost done. So next we have AP's original print. Um, this was one of my wishlist items, not like an ultimate wishlist, but I really love this print. Um, it's got like <laughs> Every time I pick this dress up, I think it's backwards because for some reason the label is sewn here instead of the back. So I find that a little bit odd, but the print's cute. It's just like some French stuff like Eiffel Tower, macaroons, boxes. Um, there's like a poodle again, I think. Little bows, presents, just all sorts of cute stuff. So yeah, that's a good dress. And it, that dress is really good for casual too because it's comfortable. <laughs> All right, next we have my new Junji Ito dress. Uh, I love this dress. I love Junji Ito so much. And it's the Tomi dress. It's a little bit hard to show, but let me see if I can. She's right there. And it's got like a pile of victims or something on the bottom. And it's got this really sick like leather over cage type thing. And uh, this dress looks so nice on me. It fits me like perfect. And it's just a very nice uh, punky kind of like golf. That was loud. I'm planning on trying to cord that dress like punk in a little bit. So I'm not sure how that'll go, but we'll see. <laughs> Next we have St. Augustine's Abbey or something. Um, this was on my gothic wishlist for a while. Uh, it's just got really nice stained glass on it and it comes with this little belt that also has some nice details like some more stained glass details and the gosh I really can't show it because I'm pulling on the string but it's got just nice like church stained glass and I, I also really like the cut of this dress and it's just it's a good dress. <laughs> Next we have funeral procession of Rose and Aria. I did an unboxing of this dress I mean um this was another gothic wishlist item that I wanted just because I love castles so much and it's got like really cool um it's hard to see because of where it is but there's like a little castle type thing and then there's just like a carriage that goes on and um as uncomfortable as these little arm things are they're also really nicely detailed so you can see that and it has the same material on the collar which is also detachable, which I like because this is also just a very flattering shape. And yeah, <laughs> this is also a very nice dress. And the back of this collar is so cool. All right, this dress fell, but uh, this is Daydream in Bed by AP. This dress is so freaking cute. I love, I also love, along with bathroom prints, I love bedroom prints, like sleeping or like anything that's like eye masks or like pillows or whatever, I really love. Um, so, and it's got like a cute little sailor collar, I'm trying to show that, <laughs> and the print's just so cute, the little designs are cute as heck, cause like, why am I incapable of showing this? <laughs> uh, I'll just show it up here. Um, it's got like these little emblems all over it, and pillows, and the beds are so pretty, so yeah, this one I love. All right, we have a few more and then we're done. Shoot, I forgot. Sometimes I cord things and I like leave them around my room. Um, so I forgot that I have this hoodie. This is AP's, <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know. I don't remember the name of this one. I got this, I got this for like $9, okay? I, I had never seen this hoodie version of this print and I just like, I was like, I can't pass that up. So it's got this cute little cat print on it. It's so cute and um, I was gonna try to pair it with Dreamcat, 
I'm not sure yet. But, um, yeah, here's green cat. That was also one of my dresses. Okay, this dress I got especially for my bridal tea party that I'm having. Um, I have a Lolita wedding dress that I'm wearing, but I wanted um, an AP dress to wear for my <laughs> bridal party, like just so that I have something sweet because my wedding dress is sort of gothic-ish. So yeah, so this is just, oh, this is just an AP, like old school dress. Um, I don't remember the name of it, again I'll have to show, but it's so beautiful. It's got this bow, I still have to pin it on, but I, because I just washed it. Um, and it goes like here, and it's got these such cute scallops and this really nice like rose detailing and um, it's just, it's such a beautiful dress and I can't wait to wear it for that. All right, we have two to go, so here we go. Uh, this is another one I forgot. This is another Sugar Dream Dome Bolero, the same one, but in pink. And then I've got it on top of, um, Candy Tree, I think is what it's called. I'm blanking a little, but Candy Tree, and oh yeah, and then underneath, <laughs> I also have my AP uh, pink cut. So you've seen me wear this in a few videos. If you're curious, you can see it in, um, how I, I've worn it in so many videos. But anyways, yeah, it's got the, so Candy Tree has these cute colorful bows. This was a wishlist item for a while, and then I found it for a pretty good price, actually. And this dress has such cute, like, little candy, and lollipop and valentines and like just it's so cute so yeah <laughs> and last but not least well i have my mannequin but i will show you guys that after but um sugary carnival <laughs> i did the unboxing for this if you guys hadn't watched that you should go watch it um this dress is so cute i had never been on the sugary carnival like hype train because i always just was just like well i'm not gonna be able to afford that so i'm not really interested and then if he did the MTO and my uh, boyfriend bought it for me for my birthday, so um, I was very surprised and I just, I really love it and I definitely was like doubting its quality before, but like when it came, just the details are so beautiful that like, this is like one of my favorite parts, the cake part here. And yeah, the ponies, whatever, everything is so cute. I apologize, Sugary Carnival, for being a hater. I don't know if this really counts, but it's my winter coat for uh, Lolita. It's, I think it's something princess again, maybe? I'm not sure. Um, it's like going super bright because this coat's black, but it's, this is a nice coat. It's warm. It's got like glitter embedded in it, kind of. So this is definitely a nice coat. I want to get a pink one, but it's nice and this is soft and it's got like these bows going all the way down. Thank you so much for watching my video. <laughs> Sorry that I have been gone so freaking long. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If it's not really your thing, um, I understand, but if you watched it anyway, then thanks. Um, let me know what you thought of this closet tour. If you wanna see my accessories next, or my socks, or my shoes, let me know. Um, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, this is uh, AP's Dream Marine. <laughs> I totally forgot. I'm like wearing it, obviously, so you can see it, but yes, this is AP's Dream Marine. And the, my favorite details about this dress, since I talked about the other ones, um, I love the waist ties. They look so like flowy and airy, which is nice for like a mermaid, like a ocean-y kind of dress, but yeah. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment. You can follow me on TikTok and Instagram at the same name as my YouTube, Chocolate Lapin, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that will be. But here's my current mannequin, because I was gonna show you guys, but just have this uh, blue cardigan, and I have Castle Mirage on it, and yeah, that's it. Okay, bye.